How's it going, everybody? Old Mike here, Terra Explorations. Over here at the siding, waiting on a train. We got a big one coming up the hill. Just give you a little shot of some view here. Check that out. You know what that is, don't you? And then over there, we got our weather station. Yeah, waiting, man. You know, you're up here for up here for hours and then finally you get about three or four minutes of action <laughs> oh yeah check out that cedar man look how green that sucker is isn't that something healthy So I was just thinking, I wanted to mention something about uh, the stealth camping. Listening for that train. So the, the <laughs> I first seen, it was camping with Steve. And didn't know nothing about him or any of that, right? So the caption that got me was... Uh, Storm camp, no shelter, st camping in a storm, no shelter, stealth camping. I was like, stealth camping? What the, what the hell is that? stealth camping? What's he got going on here? I couldn't tell it was like a Rambo kind of thing or what, you know, because in the picture, in the thumbnail, you couldn't tell. But uh, so I start watching it, and it's just this ordinary dude taking off to go camp somewhere in town, right? Hear that train coming. And so uh, he finally finds a place. And he's kicking it, right? Everything's all good. And Oh, wow, check it out. He's cracking open a beer right on. So he's getting into the beer. It's getting dark. Now it's starting to rain. <laughs> so the only place he's... So he's sleeping on the ground, right? I think all he had was like a all he had was like a shower curtain and, and a sleeping bag. So here comes this rain, man. Now it's like hailing and stuff, and he's like all he's like all hauling ass trying to get get his stuff together, right? And so all he's got he ain't got a rain jacket, he just out there in a freaking garbage bag. <laughs> wearing a garbage bag, right? <laughs> and it starts hailing. And he's getting, trying to get all this stuff put together. And he's like, now you're camping with Steve. Oh, that's when I subscribed. I was like, right, man, this, <laughs> it's like, right on. This dude's funnier than shit, man. So uh, then I watched some of his other stuff. And then uh, who else was out there? Oh, then there's a dude that smokes weed out, in, out, in, out when he does that, right? Weed in the bush, weed in the bush. Old Paul up there in Canada. And then, uh, so then I started watching him and then all of a sudden, this dude, this dude Gravedigger comes up. I'm like, Gravedigger, who's this dude, right? Same thing, man. It's like, oh wow, this is actually a thing, man. Stealth camping. And then of course everybody else started popping up, you know. So I'm thinking stealth camping, man, that, that's stuff we used to do when we was a kid. You know, when we was kids. My first stealth camp was, uh, actually it was on the railroad tracks. <laughs> it was on the railroad tracks, me and my my friend Johnny Vankus. We, uh, we camped out at this spot over at this Y. It was like right behind his house. You know, back then you could tell your parents, hey, I'm going to go go somewhere and you know it was cool so anyway we wound up camping out there all we had uh you know some sleeping bags and a tarp one of them blue tarps 
listening for that train. Oh yeah, it was cold. It was like all frost and everything. And then the second one we did was uh, was on the golf course. And the reason why we camped out there is because they had all these ponds out there, right? So we figured we're gonna do some night fishing, you know, or just kind of. Here comes that train. Just do some fishing, right? So we did that for a couple nights, camped out on the golf course. Listening for that train. Yeah, and the more I started watching, man, some of you guys are like camping out in your cars and parking garages and stuff, and camping up on top of billboards. <laughs> oh. And then old Blot, old Blot, that man, Dingo, man, y'all, y'all know what he gets into, man. He was just funnier than hell, man. Home dog can sure put him down, huh? But he, he's not drinking that much, right? He's got like what, four cans of beer or something, or four cans of some kind of orange something. I don't know how he mixes that stuff. And then he's got a little booze with him, right? And then he's got a little schmick with him. I was like, <laughs> check these two dudes out, right? These two guys go out and hiding out there and <laughs> getting a little tent and stuff and just get freaking trashed, man. <laughs> oh. And what's funny is the, you know, when he's got that premiere going, all the people on there comment and that's the funny stuff. Yeah, I like y'all, man. Everybody's got their own little character, you know? Everybody's got their own little character and their own little their own little shtick, right? Their own little thing that they do. Old Sam Bananas. Banana flask. Old Kevin. Small plots and his space kitty. I'm wondering what that is. What it you know, I, I don't know if you watched the show, Kevin. Has that got like, I'm reckoning like grapefruit, kind of give it that uh, twang. Can you hear the train? He's coming around that corner. And then you'll start hearing them go through the tunnels. Man, adrenaline's, adrenaline's going now. Miss that feeling. Man, when you spend all eight months living, living at sea level, man, Said it's it's like living in northern northern Ireland, bleh, northern Ireland over there. Not much going on. Hear it. I'm not even going nowhere, man. <laughs> the action's coming to me and I'm getting all, getting all jacked. So I thought over here would be a good view. Look at all that. Nice big round curve there. Yeah, there's so much I want to mention about y'all on, all y'all on the mother channels. But then, you know, something comes up and it's like, oh man, I should have 
get on there and say some talk. But like I mentioned before, not a lot of people watching my channel are interested in me just talking. People want to see the trains. Funny how that works. Some videos, probably the, kind of the same old thing. You'll get a couple hundred views and one like and no comments. And then you'll have something as simple as a possum in the backyard and everybody's watching it. Man, people watch that every day. You know what's a trip is most of the people watching the train videos are from India. Yep, he's at that crossing. Oh, I've seen Bangladesh, uh, Brazil, which is pretty cool. Deutschland auch. Kuchen, yeah. Und, uh, hmm, vice versa. What else? Mm. Oh, there was a time when I had some folks from Russia watching. Hello, Russia. Let's not frickin' hate each other. And so this is it, this is the wait. I wanted to mention uh, when the, I was just trying to think of some of the funny, one, just some funny uh, stuff I remember off of people's channels. I was sitting there thinking about shoestring just a little while ago over there and I was thinking about this one where he, uh, he did this ride and then he makes camp, right? He just kind of sets off to the side, and he's like next to the this chain link fence. There's like a lot behind him, so he makes this little fire, right? The fire is not very big. I mean, it's nothing, but the the flame. There's like a four foot flame coming off of it, and the flames. It's going past his shoulder, right? I mean, he's sitting there and. It's going past him and behind him, and what was funny is it's there's an there's an empty lot behind him, and those flames are going through that chain link fence, right? He ain't gonna be able to hop that thing, put no fire out. <clears throat> I just had to watch it. Tarp this. Hey man, how you doing up there? Haven't mentioned you yet. Appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Like watching your videos too. He's kind of like... I don't know if I could compare... He, he's, he's a dude... He's a dude who likes to come out and sit, drink Budweiser's, and have a couple smokes. Kind of reminds me of Jack. I hope this isn't getting boring. kind of why I don't do so much uh, talking about stuff on here. I was going to wait until the train started getting a little closer to do that.
Now, do you think I could just, you know, be sitting over there, sitting in a chair, drinking a beer, smoking a hoot, and just talking on a camera? Would anybody watch me doing that? This train sounds different. You can hear him just struggling up the hill. Boy, there was some good radio chatter going on last night. One guy was talking about going down this hill and train stalled out. Things didn't have no power. Kind of just caught, just sort of last of that. Oh boy, he's already... <clears throat> Alright. He's already up here. Terra Explorations. Boots on the ground, bring them to you. Here we go. Excuse me on the zoom. In. I can't really see inside the viewfinder. Hear that power? What do we got here? that morning wood. How was that, y'all? Was that a better view? So next time, I, I guess I'll save all the chatter and talking until the train gets up there. I don't have a camera stand. <laughs> Thanks on those things. There ain't no reason for that gasoline to be over five or four dollars a gallon. What's it in California? Probably five bucks, 
right? Stopping, or is he just slowing down? I think he's probably gonna stop because we got an Amtrak rolling through here. It's about Amtrak time. That thing might even slip right on by me. You can't even hardly hear them things. Like yesterday. Man, that thing, I, I didn't know they were going to sink that, like that, where they would just be passing each other at the same time. So, maybe I'm learning something about the horn salute. So when they don't salute, that means that they're stopping. Because <laughs> they don't seem to... They don't seem too cheerful or whatever. I'm not trying to put y'all on camera. You know what I mean? You know what I miss back in the day? Is the, well I know everybody does, the caboose. That was always the, my favorite part of the train. Because you would always see the, the conductor on there, or the brakeman, always give a wave. All friendly wave from the conductor. That's what I always wanted to do when I was a kid, man. I want to be a brakeman. I want to ride in the caboose. Ain't that a trip? It's light. It's like blaring loud out here. Okay, I hear the helper back there. It's like... I'm just watching the train kind of creep back. It's like so quiet up here and then all of a sudden just blaring loud. And then it's back to quiet again. Out in the middle of the woods. I'm just watching my back. Out in the middle of the woods. And all of a sudden now, <laughs> we got a big old freight train parked here. Well, this might be, this might be like yesterday. It might be a minute or so. That Amtrak's gonna be coming from, from that way. It's gonna be coming from the south. From Klamath Falls, then it's going to go by Chamalt. Chamalt splits into the Oregon trunk and the Cascade sub, which is what I'm on right now. Oregon trunk is the Burlington Northern and uh, this is the UP, the old Southern Pacific, right? 
See, that's what I was hopping on down south, was Cotton Belt in the Southern Pacific. <clears throat> oh, I wanted to mention, too, also down over there, uh, that's another video. They used to uh, share that, actually, Missouri Pacific used to share that. They would go off to, uh, I'm going to want to say maybe, which way was it? That was going like towards Beaumont, and then the, where it would split down there. I'm talking about where I used to do my train serving. It would split into two main tracks, and it would go up north, Houston, and then off uh, to the east over there to Inglewood Yard. So what up, Lewis? You thinking about coming out here to the Pacific Northwest sometime? Like I said, I, I understand about Portland, man. That place is a... It's a pitiful shame. No buzzards were down there in Eugene. They did some videoing through here too. Uh, not going by here, but just down south of a uh, place called The Slide, where my first uh, videos were, were taken and done. Yeah, they went by there. It was snowing too. Well, I mean, it wasn't snowing, but it did snow. And there's like a few feet of snow on the ground when they came up through here. Um, I don't recall where, where they were going. Oh, didn't they hang out in Portland for a while? I know they've been up to Portland. I'm wondering if that was one where they hung out in Portland for a while. Oh, so I'm just thinking about danger while I'm on here. So yeah, back when I was a kid, riding. So we 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 got off over this North Junction there. I mean, that's about as far as we wanted to go. We were wanting to go to Inglewood, but <clears throat> when you're like an 11 or 12 year old kid, my dad would have my dad would have tore me up, man, if I would have called him and told him I was over and over by the ship channel somewhere well not ship channel but up north over there by what fourth ward or some crap so we got off right we're walking walking home and we were being flanked by some people they were in the woods and they were following us you know and we'd stop and they'd stop no it wasn't the Bigfoot these were two like people. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so they're following us, right? And now we came to this trestle. And it's like, well, crap, man. What do we do? Do we go, you know, as soon as we get on that trestle, we're, we're going to be trapped, right? So we hauled ass across that trestle, and of course we got followed, and then we ran a little ways, and made it to this uh, 7-Eleven, and we went in the 7-Eleven, you know, well, shit, we were scared, right? We didn't know where to go, because these people were following us. So we're standing there, and these two, uh, I'm, I don't, Latinos, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to say Mexicans or El Salvadoran, but whatever, you get the idea. They were kind of young dudes, man, like in their early 20s, and, and the dude kept they were just standing there. They weren't doing nothing, right? Weren't buying nothing, nothing. They were just standing behind us. And the one dude kept patting me on the shoulder. And he's like, hey, you my friend, right? You friends, right? We friends. And just being polite, I'm telling them, yeah, 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 right? So I'm 
feeling kind of weird, man. This is like getting totally sketchy, right? So homeboy keeps, hey, we we friends, and and they were trying to get us to leave the store. I was with my friend, <laughs> Corky Barker. <laughs> hey, Corky. It was me and Corky Barker, and he was get he was getting all sketched too. He's like, man, something. I don't like that shit either going on. And like I said, they're trying to get us to leave the store. I'm like, no, 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 we're here. We're staying here. So he told the clerk, and the clerk let us get behind the counter and hang out behind the counter. And what he did is he called a friend. We told him the situation. He's like, well, why don't you call your parents? I was like, well, no, we're like a far away from home. We've been on this train and shit, man. We can't call my parents. So he called a buddy of his, and his buddy took us home. That was like one of my scary train kind of sketch shit things that happened. Yeah, that was just creepy, man. Especially when the dudes were trying to get us to leave the store. You know, it's like, man, we we don't know you. I ain't going nowhere with your ass. glasses on. I wonder what that says. I hope it doesn't say anything foul. Uh oh. <laughs> hey look there's some there's some tags on there. Father of zero kids. Freaking hilarious. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think the little lady and the kids would be too jacked about hopping on a train with you. What's that say? Cadillac Joe. Down there. <laughs> Father is zero kids, freaking hilarious. Well, I guess this is going to be a long video. I guess I could cut it off and start part two. Y'all are probably just zipping through this, waiting for the action to happen. This is the action. This is what I drive 175 miles and I'm not bitching or complaining. But, yeah. You wait out here for hours and then you got about maybe three, maybe four minutes of some action going on. And then you just kind of sit and hang out. Father of zero kids. <laughs> I hope that comes up as a thumbnail, man. <laughs> I'll post it as a thumbnail if it comes on there. <laughs> oh, speaking of funny shit. A funny thing that I saw uh, on a train was... This box car was going by. This was down in Houston. This box car went by and it had the doors open, right? Both the doors. And there was like these four Mexican dudes. Okay, I quit. They could be anywhere, okay? Latin people. They were, they were, how should I say it? They were standing across uh, they're inside, not like in front of the door, but kind of across. They had their arms around each other's shoulders, and their pants were down around their ankles. <laughs> I was with my buddy. 
uh, Johnny and we, he's like, do you see that? I said, yeah. I was like, what kind of situation is going on in there, man? That was kind of funny. I remember that. Yeah, I mean, didn't quite, I mean, just some bros, man, happy to be riding on the train, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> oh, there was one time when I, yeah, we were terrible when we were kids. When, uh, This one train stopped. I think it hit a car or something in the, at the crossing. And uh, so me and my buddy we went to the caboose, right? And there wasn't anybody in the caboose. So we're in there checking it out. And then there was the two crew bags, right? Because we went in there to go get the torpedoes. Remember railway torpedoes and the flares? Yeah, we used to snag a couple of those. We wouldn't take them all, but we'd snag a couple of those. And then there, there was the crew bags, a couple of duffel bags. It was like, whoa, Johnny's like, check this out, man, I'm digging through there. And it's just like clothes and stuff. And the one had a pistol in it. The one had like a, yeah, it was like a 357 revolver. And then in the other, um, Okay, here comes our Amtrak. The other one had like a 22 Ruger in it. We didn't touch them or take them, but hey man, crew members are packing. Yeah, this sounds like an Amtrak. It's pretty quiet. Probably not going to get a rise out of them. through those tinted windows. Probably some clown on there flipping me off. All right, we're moving again. Southbound to California, baby. Pacific Northwest products being delivered. Hey, thanks, thanks everybody for subscribing. I'm not a fancy channel here. I don't have a drone or anything going on. Or and I don't know how to edit. Doesn't that sound terrible? I'm just never learned. Nobody, uh, I don't know where to find out how to do that. How do you stop the camera? and then get it to go again and still have the same you know without it just being a whole new other movie how do you put all those together like that and do what y'all are doing I mean damn even uh old cornbread man homeboys all getting all the graphics and stuff going on you guys are probably doing that on phones too let me know in the comments so I don't have these long, drawn-out, boring-ass videos for y'all. I mean, I could just be putting together all kinds of stuff. I watched online, but man, I can't keep up with a freaking 16-year-old girl.
seems like it's struggling, don't it? Those aren't local helpers. That's uh, that's them guys. That's like remote. Okay, Terra Explorations. Old Mike here bringing it to you. Thanks for sticking around. Hope that wasn't too long. for a while. Oh, I forgot that Amtrak went by. I was going to say, what? How is there another train coming up here? Let's see, he's down there at the bottom. Alright, well I'm going to go over here to the Y and take a little walk over here. Maybe I think of some uh, Think of some stuff I want to bring up and maybe do a little video of that. Uh oh. Just so you know. Yep. So you better watch it. <laughs> that ain't me. Trust me, I didn't put that up there. Uh, all right. Old Mike here. Terra Explorations. Going to go take a little walk over here. To the Y. It's a cool little place I like to be. It's nice having this all to yourself, ain't it? Most of y'all know where I'm at. Like I said, please don't come up here and leave trash or set anything on fire. Man, we all like to come up here and hang out and be able to do this without having all these roads gated up and stuff like that, you know. Vandalize. I'm surprised nobody set that thing on fire or shot it full of holes. You know what? As many people got guns and stuff up here. You know what I don't see? Nobody shooting up these signs. <laughs> I just thought about that. I've not seen a, a bullet hole in one of these. Oh, a scary Sasquatch thing. I think this was up in Alaska, or, or was it Alaska, or maybe it might have been up in... It was somewhere up around here. Yeah, a lady said this. she seen the Bigfoot go across the street and it grabbed the sign and it bent it. And so when they came to shoot that movie or that documentary, whatever. Yeah, it had like these three claw marks into it. Like literally it looks like something grabbed it. Remember that when I was a kid. Remember the le the legend of Boggy Creek. I never got to see that movie, but man, it always used to creep me out. Yeah, see, this is kind of the sort of what happened when I seen that thing coming down the hill. All right, well, I'm gonna mosey off over here. I'm gonna cut this video off short. I don't want it to be like too long, but then some people do have a video that's an hour and a half long. Somebody just sitting there drinking beer and shooting the shit. And I like watching that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of y'all's videos, man, that saved my ass during winter time. I just get hit with some really bad depression, man, when winter comes. You see who's out here with me, right? Okay. 
yeah, I, I can watch y'all's videos and I could just be there with you, you know. I'm starting to get cotton now. Oh, my hand is getting tired. Ooh, boy, that's a workout just holding the camera. So let's go for a little walk down the tracks. Sorry if I'm jigging on the camera. I'm, I'm not a southpaw. Damn, it's hot over here. All this gravel and stuff. There's not much. There's not much wind going either. Yes, the wind is my enemy as well, Jack. Although. Cedars. <laughs> What'd you think I was gonna say? Damn. It's just a really sweet smell. It's not like a you know like an old cedar chest or anything like that. It's different. That and the mixed aroma of the creosote and grease. Oh my god. Oh, right. <laughs> Old man dingo. <laughs> oh, that dude cracks me the hell up. Oh, love you, man. <laughs> okay, so here we are at the frog. So I'm look, I, I don't even see a date on this rail. The other one was like 1927. Uh, didn't I get a picture of that? Colorado. And then on these other ones are Nippon, Nippon. Do we get steel from Japan? It's kind of odd. Which has a little note on here. Oh, here's somebody's little tag. It's pretty faded out. Yeah, check it out. Ooh, what's it say on the other side? which is spiked or clamped. I don't think anybody's going to be using this for a long time. 